2020, uh, the development group has been brought together to develop the draft achievement standards and the significant learning within the wider sphere of Māori performing arts. What that means is that Kura will now have the opportunity to develop teaching and learning plans which specifically apply to Māori performing arts. From level one, two and three, it just creates better pathways for our kids. Uh, instead of going through another subject to achieve uh, university entrance, they can actually do it through their performing arts. For our kids, especially in a kura, that, that means a, a hell of a lot. Should Māori performing arts be timetabled into the schools? Yes, it should be. It should be raised at the same heights as all other subjects and be given the same mana because Māori performing arts is inclusive, not exclusive. It's definitely important that it's part of the Kurauraki curriculum. Uh, one, it gives our kids in Kurauraki access uh, to Māori performing arts. And secondly, um, it gives them the opportunity to get credentials to, to back up all the skills and learnings that they learn uh, during Māori performing arts and learning kapahaka in general. It actually provides a very, very clear pathway and that Māori performing arts is a viable pathway for our tamariki, now and beyond. It allows them to, to aim for excellence endorsements within the NCEA studies. It puts value back into our art form. At the moment, Māori performing arts is seen as a fill-in um, subject, an extracurriculum subject, and not within the timetable or the structure of the kura. Māori performing arts is vital because it gives them tools to be successful, a place to practice who they are, like any kaupapa, couple that with whakairo, couple that with hākina kina, our Māori children be successful in those fields. <laughs> it needs to be on all timetables, why? It's the lifeline for some of our students. We're not just creating performers, but we're creating performers with reason and purpose, so that it's a, it's a lifetime journey. This has never been done before um, for Māori performing arts. Uh, it's a very new um, area of study within an achievement standard framework. I think the beauty of it is bringing together Te, te Tāhuhu, the Ministry and also NZQA into the same wānanga with the kaiapo and also our external um, examiners. There are always going to be challenges for non-Māori uh, participating but it's going to come down to the people who are in front of them supporting uh, that pathway and that journey. To the ones who are a bit shy, meet the shyness. Through that you'll meet yourself and learn who you are, who do I belong to, where am I from. Long gone are the days where people say uh, kapahaka will get you nowhere. What we now know is that Māori Performing Arts develops leadership, develops ambassadors for our country and for our culture. It allows them to be seen and to be able to take our culture and the culture of Aotearoa New Zealand um, across the world. It helps your confidence. It builds you as a person to understand, to know, and really understand the culture of this whenua. We have the opportunity to elevate our rangatahi into sectors that may not be known to them. For us as kaiako, we need to smash down those barriers and, and just let our kids fly. I just see this as a wonderful opportunity uh, to firstly acknowledge that Māori Performing Arts is something of importance and that our tamariki will have this opportunity to take this tonga with them through to the future. If you believe and you're passionate about kapahaka, it can open up many, many doors. 
I believe it is time now. Be open-minded. Don't be so closed off and just think that Māori Performing Arts Achievement Standards is another avenue or pathway for all our students to succeed. Yeah, I'll be thinking about Uncle Papa and Auntie Nien uh, for a long time. They, they've been my mentors uh, when I left school in 1989, being told there was no pathway through my performing arts. I wanted to make sure that there was and I had to find the right people to uh, engage with and help me achieve that. Because of Uncle, uh, I'm a teacher now. Um, he knew that I was going to be a teacher and it was always about giving back to the next generation to leave our culture in a better space. So hopefully I can do that koro. I refer to the words of koro ngāpō. Ki te wātea te hiningaro me te kaharere o te wairua, a tae ngā mea katoa. If the mind is free and the spirit is flowing, you can accomplish anything.